coming up with the idea to, to give out groceries and essential items was a, was a huge idea for us, but then putting it into motion, making sure that our, our volunteers are able to, you know, be safe and be working alone or with their family members so that uh, not only do we have a safe working environment, but the goods that we're giving out are actually clean and safe as well. So it, it's been fun to see it unfold and um, to see the community respond. Well, it's such an amazing campaign to have these trucks able to deliver groceries to so many people on a weekly basis. I mean, they obviously see you on the field and then they see you helping in their communities. It's just uh, awesome what you're doing. The audience of one, talk about what that means for people who aren't familiar. Yeah, for me, um, audience of one, uh, really was my life model that I started when I really came to my saving faith in Jesus Christ uh, when I was in college. And for me, it was just kind of a reminder um, that everything I do is for an audience of one, it's for the Lord uh, first and foremost. Carrying that motto into becoming a foundation um, and kind of demonstrating the same kind of value through the foundation of how can we do everything to steward what God's given us to bless others. Right now, obviously, churches are not able to congregate. How has that impacted your ability to, to worship? We're, we're waking up, we're sleeping in a little bit more on Sundays, we're grabbing coffee, we're sitting on the couch, uh, going to church, and I know a, a lot of people out there are doing the same thing, and um, it looks different, but you gotta make the most of it. And what's your advice to, to the people of Philadelphia and beyond who are you know, trying to get through this, missing their sports, missing the kind of camaraderie, obviously, that that fosters? Uh, what's kind of your guidance if people are getting through this tough time? The only way I get through any tough time is, is my faith. But, um, you know, maybe some people aren't into their faith and don't have Jesus as their Savior. I challenge them to, to find him. But also, I just say, just keep hanging on. You know, things are going to go back to whatever normal is. Uh, it might look a little different, but, you know, this thing will pass. Um, keep the faith, and we'll be back out there playing football one day. We'll, you know, the Sixers will be playing, the Flyers will be playing, the Phillies will be playing. Those things will be happening, and we'll all have something to kind of rally around soon enough. Such a treat to be able to check in with you here. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.